25 minutes, half an hour or so, um, ask away. And please don't be serious. <laughs> <laughs> We've just spent hey. five hours in a, in a car. Is, is this the microphone? And here's one too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. who's going to carry this? This one is an arm. It's a small room. Do we need a microphone? Okay, okay. who would like to ask a question? Okay. Do tell us about the market. Do tell us who you are, Joe. Hi, Joe. My name's Graham Walker. I'm from the Stanley Newspaper here in Sheffield. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the media, I can't thank you for coming over to Sheffield. And, and, and that's my first question. Why Sheffield? Why not? <laughs> I love England. And I, Sheffield, whether you people know or not, is world famous for Sheffield. Yeah. 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 He said, my friends, I'll go to Sheffield. They always say, bring me back a fork. <laughs> Everybody is so excited. And I, it's just great. To, I love England. My husband is English. And it's great, to, and then they said Yorkshire, so that, and then they said up north, and uh, I want to die in the, the lake country. Not yet, get his father's house, though. Too goody goody. But um, I, I just love the area. I want to get a chance for another question, so I'll ask you now. Um, I, the documentary is, is fabulous. Uh, the week starts with no makeup on. That must have been really scary. Uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, it, very brave of you, Russell. Was that we seen the real yeah. Joe? That's not brave. It's called stupid. The guy was standing like three feet away. I did not get a close-up lens. Up. That's the director's vision. But I did have to approve it. But they gave me a big glass of wine. No, it, it was. Uh, I think it's a metaphor. I know this sounds stupid. I guess we should ask Ricky. But I think it's a metaphor that you're going to see the truth. And you sure do. And, you know, does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Right, look, did you start? Look, ask Ricky. That, that, that's it. I mean, it, it's pretty obvious what it is, and that's what it is. And Joan didn't know. We built this ring of lights that looked like a mirror. <laughs> but, but you sort of knew. I think well, I, been, at that point, it was all. In that way, we were been filming for so long with Joan, and the camera was always in her face, and, and the, 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 you know, any kind of wall was already down. So, But people had said when, when I was screening, it, that those close-up shots, I said, oh, is Joan ever going to let you use that? And I never thought that you would have an issue with it, because she's really brave, and she's very matter-of-fact. You see her in her dressing room half the time made up and not made up. I mean, I don't think there's anything to hide. And we didn't want it to be, which is why I'm with them, we didn't want it to be another one of those stupid puff people. How many times have we seen people that are despicable, and then you see the biography of them, and well, I really liked Rex Harrison, who apparently was universally hated on both sides of the Atlantic. And uh, so, uh, you know, you don't want that kind of thing. And that's why I just let them do what they want. Well, you look just as beautiful without makeup on as you do. Yes, you are. Why aren't you Jewish, rich, old? Jack and Blue show that. Thank you very much. Just uh, just tell us who you are. Thanks. Matthew uh, Quam, speaking on behalf of the Manchester Evening News. You. Sorry, I'm not very good at this. Um, sorry for the serious question, Joan, but after 50 years of fame and having to share your life with the media, uh, how did you deal with the intrusion it brings, and are you happy with the trade-off you've made? Uh, beyond happy, I don't think the girls... I don't think any of... Does it really work, you think? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, so sorry. Okay. <laughs> we sorry, eh? Well, um, uh, uh, the, uh, let, let me answer part two first. One, I am beyond happy because it came out and has nothing to do with me. It has to do with Andy and it has to do uh, with Rick. Uh, what was your name? Ricky. And, uh, <laughs> um, uh, I think it's wonderful because it didn't come out a stupid puff piece that nobody could care less about. So that's number one. I'm delighted with the results, beyond delighted. Uh, as far as the intrusion, uh, and it was Ricky that came to me, uh, the minute you say, if you're going to do something, then do it right. You said I have a 50 year career. It's because I've never ever not tried to tell the truth of my career. I always feel the audience is not stupid out there. And everyone always says, oh, they'll buy this. They don't buy it, whatever this is. And so I thought, if we're going to do it, let's do it right, and let's tell the truth. And, and I would say that Joan was always the one, <laughs> Joan <laughs> was always the one saying, you know, when I would say, well, they're let me, not letting us in a meeting, she was always the one that would say, come on, you've got to come in, come, come into the meeting. Whereas Jocelyn in the back, <laughs> we all know from the movie, Joan's assistant, would sometimes have to say, well, I don't know if you guys should be in for this. And 
And Joan was really the one to open door. People ask me that sometimes.